Hey dolls! So I am coming back at you with another monthly favorites video and this one is for the month of March. Obviously I cannot believe how fast this year is going by. It needs to slow down but I am excited because it is springtime and it's getting closer to summer and I love summer so much. So yes today I bring you my monthly favorites so enough talking in this intro. Let's just get on into this. So first and foremost is actually an app and I downloaded this quite a while ago but I never really ended up using it too much but I got back into using it and it is called Amino. I'm sure you guys have probably heard of it before. It's basically a place that you can go to. It's a free app completely free to download. You can go and you can follow different kind of forums that have different categories. So if you're a fan of say Sanrio characters or Disney or My Little Pony you can search that and follow these forums or these amino pages that are dedicated solely to those topics and different people from all over the place can become a member of those aminos as well and you guys can all make public posts to one another you can do group chats you can do all kinds of amazing things they have this thing now where you can even chat with like an avatar. I haven't tried that out myself, but it looks really intriguing. Uh, but so far I am a part of a few different aminos, just like the Kawaii Amino, the Equestria Amino, because I am a fan of My Little Pony. You guys know this. I'm also in the Pastel Amino and the Disney Amino. So overall, it's just a really cool app. I've really enjoyed getting on there. I'm kind of debating on creating my own Amino, which is something you guys can do too. So if you have like a certain topic that you want people to come to your forum and chat and make posts about, um, you can make your own little Amino category category as well, which is really awesome. So I'm debating on making a Manda 3.14.09 one that you guys can join and kind of just do public posts there. And then I'll get alerted on my phone when you guys make posts or share photos or videos or whatever on there. Let me know if that's something you guys want me to do. My amino name is obviously same as it is here, just Manda 3.14.09. So I'm not sure if you can follow you can follow people within the categories, I think, but I'm not sure if you can follow people just as a whole, just in general. But if you can, feel free to follow me. Username and link will be down below. But it's just a really neat app and I am falling more and more in love with it. Again, I'm super inactive or I had been for quite a while. So I'm just now kind of getting back into it. But it's been really fun to kind of just read people's posts in like, especially, oh my gosh, you guys. Riverdale. I'm also part of the Riverdale Amino because, because, leading into my next favorite for this month is Riverdale. You guys <laughs> had been asking if I had watched it, if I was ever going to watch it, and I never really showed any interest in it because I thought it was like supposed to be scary or something like that. I don't know exactly what it was. And I don't really do scary things or like murder shows or anything like that, but you guys, I started watching Riverdale on Netflix with my fiance and I could not stop. It's like a drug. Like it's so bad. You just keep wanting to binge watch more and more and more and more and more. And so I ended up buying season two on Amazon. So I've watched all of season two that is out right now and I'm catching up on it as it comes out. And oh my gosh, I'm all caught up and everything is just so like, <sighs> Just when you think you have one thing figured out, five more things happen and it's just like twists and turns after twists and turns and I freaking love it so much. Not to mention Cole Sprouse is one of the main characters in there and I love when like Disney characters go on to do bigger things in the future. I don't know what it is. It's like so much darker than what you're used to seeing Cole Sprouse as being on like The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody but it's so cool. I love it. It's such a good show. Hands down, highly recommend it to all you guys that have recommended it to me because it is so good and it's so addicting and I cannot stop watching it. <laughs> so I am part of the little Riverdale forum on Amino because I just, I want to know more. I want to know people's thoughts. I want to know, I just, I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> However, I do ask that if you guys are going to leave Riverdale comments, please, 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 no spoilers for those who haven't watched it that want to watch it. Don't leave any spoilers in my comment section. Um, 
But anyway, yes, okay, moving on. While I'm kind of talking about the topic of my phone, you guys know I got my iPhone 8 Plus. It was in my favorites last month, but I always get lots of questions and compliments on my screen protectors. So the one that I have on right now is actually of Duffy and Stella Lou, and it is so cute. I love the little stars. I think it is so precious. I also had a Charmy Kitty one that I had before this one, and I ended up, I don't know if I accidentally hit my phone or something fell on my phone or what, but it got cracked, and it was just the screen protector that was cracked, and you could actually see it in my March fav or February favorites video, um, but rest assured, my screen is not cracked. Nothing's broken. It was literally just um, the screen protector that had cracked, and and these are glass so they do kind of crack if they're dropped or get broken or whatever but I did want to show you guys the other two that I have I get these off of either eBay or AliExpress and to find them you literally just type in things like hello kitty screen protector or hello kitty um, glass screen protector or character screen protector duffy screen protector things like that and they will pop up you just kind of have to be tricky with it because sometimes it's just regular screen protectors that pop up but i also got this one right here these two i have not used yet um but i got this my melody one that is very adorable i love her little feet in this little picture down here so there's that one that i got and then this is the one that you guys had seen before is the charmy kitty one i did repurchase this from a completely different seller and this one is different than the first one i got because this one is sparkly i'm not sure if it's going to be able to show up on camera or if you can tell but this one is actually like glittery so it is a little bit different than the one i had before because instead of it just being glossy or shiny, it does have like sparkles or glitter all over it. So yeah, I love these. They're very cute. It's it's a fun way to kind of customize your phone even more so than just like adding cute cases, which I'm gonna go ahead and move on to next. Um, these two new cases I have been using a lot lately and I got these off of AliExpress. This one right here is just a silicone daisy duck one, and it came with this little finger ring. Why it's a bear, I don't really know how that correlates to daisy duck, but it's cute. It works. I like this because I can interchange it between other cases that the pink matches. So it's really cute. You could just kind of slip your finger in here, and then if you accidentally drop your phone, oh my gosh, it's not the end of the world. I love these little rings like this. So there is that case I got off of AliExpress. You can type in things like Daisy Duck iPhone case and it'll pop right up. And then I got this My Melody one right here. This one is super popular. I think it's even been around since like the iPhone 5 models, I believe. But you can get this on eBay or AliExpress. Just type in My Melody iPhone case and it'll immediately pop up. But the back of it just looks like this. It says My Melody and it is silicone. And it did come with a little strap that you can hook right here and wear it kind of like as a lanyard. But here is what the front of it looks like. I love the little hearts right here. I hate it because, I love it but I hate it. I hate it because it like covers up my cute little screen protector that I'm wearing. But it is so cute because it has like the bow and the ears. And there was a little mouse, her little mouse friend, attached right here and he kind of peeked over at the front but sorry little mousy i didn't like it so i just kind of ripped it off <laughs> i know that sounds absolutely horrible but it just made the it was like really like flimsy and i felt like it was probably just gonna fall off or get ripped off anyway so i just kind of like carefully peeled him off and you can see the kind of little marks right here where he was but I don't know he stuck up like this much more and it just made my phone like so much bigger and I wasn't really a fan of it so I just took it off sorry little mouse but uh I ruined your day oh, I just ate so I keep having these weird hiccups and my voice is like really winded and stuttery so I apologize for that moving on I don't even know what to talk about next so I guess I will just talk about this because it is Girl Scout cookie season and I had to get me some Girl Scout cookies when I went to dinner with my fiance. They were outside of the restaurant and I had cash on me so I'm like you know what 
I rarely ever get Girl Scout cookies when they have them because I don't have cash and I don't want to like write a check or do debit card or anything like that. So I was like, I got cash. Let's do this. So I got a box of Thin Mints and I got a box of Samoas. My favorites are both Samoas and Thin Mints. Samoas, I can't show you the box because they're gone. They were literally gone probably within the 15 minutes that I bought the box, which was horrible. But, um, I love them so much. They're the ones with the little coconut in them and the chocolate drizzle and mm, just so good. I also love the peanut butter ones that are the tagalongs. I totally forgot to buy those ones because I've always just grown up with Samoas and Thin Mints. Um, I think someone had mentioned under a comment or in a comment under one of my Instagram photos on my personal account that Samoas used to be called Caramel Delights. And yes, I remember that too. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you remember that. And also let me know what your favorite flavor of Girl Scout cookies are. Like I said, mine are probably Samoas, Tagalongs, and then Thin Mints. Now just a random little thing. As you guys know, Toys R Us is going out of business and having a crap ton of sales right now. If they haven't already gone out of business, you guys need to check out your local Toys R Us and either hit it up whether you are a toy collector yourself or if you just want to get Christmas presents for family, friends, nieces, nephews, sisters, brothers, whoever you gotta get Christmas presents for, hit up your local Toys R Us because chances are they're having crazy sales happening right now because they're going to be closing. Sad. Mine isn't closing for another two months, so I'm gonna go back once the sales start to increase. But I had to walk away with this adorable husky plush. The funny thing is, is I was watching Graveyard Girls follow me around Toys R Us, her first one she did before the sales were happening. She just recently did one where the sales were all happening, but um, before, and I saw this in the background of her video and I had to have it. So I went to Toys R Us, not just because they had a sale going on, but because I wanted this husky plush and he is so cute. I just love him so much. He's so soft. He was $10, but he was 10% off, so I got him for $9 instead of 10 but he is just so cute, and I have to show you guys, <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing, but this is the, it's not really embarrassing, the fact that I still sleep with a stuffed animal, like, I'm not embarrassed about that at all, but it's embarrassing, like, how matted and destroyed this plush is. I got him about a year or two ago, and I sleep with him every single night, and he is just so matted, and I take him with me on trips all the time, and I always sleep with him, even if my fiancé stays the night, or if we're sleeping in the same bed, I still always sleep with my plush. I don't know what it is, but because he takes up a lot of space in my suitcase when I travel, I wanted to get a little smaller one for when I go on trips. So instead of carrying and taking the big bulky one, I have a little mini baby that I can kind of take with me and put in my suitcase. So this one right here I did get off of eBay. It's one of the Douglas plushes. You guys might remember him when I shared him a while back. I think he was in a favorite. It's like whatever I got him, but here's a new little baby that I can take on trips and it won't be so bulky and it'll kind of save some space <laughs> and give me an excuse to buy another plushie when I'm out of town. <laughs> Okay, just a few more things. I want to share some clothing items. The first is this clear belt that I got off of eBay. I've seen these, and my friend also has one of these that is black. I've seen black ones, white ones, pink ones, a lot of different colored of ones, but the kind of buckle in the front buckle um, is heart shaped and they make these in like silver and gold and like triangles and squares and heart shapes and star shapes and all kinds of stuff and I wanted a belt that I could wear with literally anything I own and I came across these clear ones and these are perfect they're not the best quality they're kind of flimsy and I feel like it'll break within a short amount of time but for only two dollars it's really worth it. So I bought three of these so that I could just use them back and forth, back and forth, or just like use one until it wears out and then start the next one or whatever. But I love these because they will literally match anything and everything that I own. And they actually have notches in them um, small enough to where I don't have to puncture any of 
new any new ones for myself and it'll fit not only my hips where like my jeans sit but it'll also fit like high-waisted if I wanted to pair it with a skirt like a denim skirt or even high-waisted shorts or high-waisted jeans so I love it so much again eBay you can type in like heart belt or something like that and it did ship from China so it took a while to get to me but it's worth it because it was only two dollars and it's so good the next thing I want to share with you guys are these crossbody bags I love these things so much I made a full post on my Instagram when I got them uh, it took them a long time to get to me because I ordered them when they were doing their having their Chinese New Year celebration so shipping was postponed by like a month so it took me a long time to get these and the reason I have two of them is because I could not decide on the post like on the listing which one I wanted more or which one I liked better and I did get these off of AliExpress uh, but there is this one right here that is the pink it's like the pastel pink shade and then it has a beautiful purple pink and blue or it's kind of like purple pink and mint I guess you could say um fur and it is just so cute they are crossbody style bags they have snap closures just like this you open it up and oh peekaboo there's Marie that does not come with it <laughs> um but there is one little zipper pocket in the back right there and then it is all just kind of like open it fits the necessities in it including my iPhone 8 plus so I can't really complain too much. I've been liking the smaller bags lately when I go on trips and things because then I don't have to carry around a big bulky thing like this. <laughs> I'll get to that one in just a second. But so there's this one right here that is the pink and then this one right here that is set up the exact same way, same concept, same design, except this one is like a lilac -y purple and it has more of rainbow style fur on it so like there's blue yellow green more colors than there are in this one right here and I just couldn't decide which one to get shout out to my friend Heather for telling me about these thank you so 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 much um but I love them I think if you I don't think the seller I bought them from is selling them anymore I think they are unavailable but I think if you search like fur crossbody bag or something like that on either eBay or AliExpress it should pop up um I'm not 100% sure but you can also check my Instagram post that I did recently of these and in the caption I kind of give two other shop names that I got them from on AliExpress so you can check those ones and if they have them awesome and if they don't I'm sorry I don't know what to tell you like I said the seller I got them from doesn't carry them anymore so I don't know I'm sorry I just had to share them with you because they're so good okay now I just showed this bag right here I have this bag you might recognize it from my purse collection video however the one that you guys are familiar with is the hot pink version this is a Morona bag from Target however I just got this off of Poshmark because my camera is gonna go all crazy with its colors doesn't like when I show blue items it goes all orange when I show blue I was watching Heather Sparkles here on YouTube I was watching her recent what's in my bag what's in my purse video and she had this color of the Morona bag and I fell in love with the blue color and so I commented on the video and I told her girl that color of bag is beautiful I have it in hot pink also but I need the blue one for springtime it is so pretty and it is just such the most beautiful sky blue powder blue in person like it's so much prettier in person than it is in pictures and in video like it's so good and I managed to find it on Poshmark for $10 I think is what it was I love this bag thank you Heather for inspiring me and you guys need to go check out her video if you want to see what she carries in her bag okay and two more things I want to share with you guys the first being this oh my gosh where was this even from undies.com I think yes okay you guys need I say any more do, do I need to say any more like it's so fuzzy and so cute 
and I am so obsessed and it does not fit me at all because I am a weird bra size, but it's okay. I had to have it. You guys, this company made um, a Care Bear bra and, 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 and matching panty set. Like, what is this? Like, it's so freaking cute. Now, I will admit, I did spend $60 on the set, and I kind of regret that. The top was like $35 or something, and the bottoms were like $25 or something, and then shipping was like $5 or $10, but I could not say no. Like, it is so good. Like, it's so plushy and so soft. I think this size is a 34 um, D and I am a 32 G so I had to kind of compensate the cup size a little bit but and they are padded quite a bit so it is kind of tight on me and it doesn't really do what it needs to to be comfortable but a bra like this you don't really buy it for it to be comfortable anyway you kind of just buy it for it to be kind of a cute keepsake little thing or if you're someone who goes to festivals or raves or things like that this could be really fun to wear um you guys I, I don't even know what else to say like I am so obsessed so here is the um little brand undies just like that u-n-d-i-z and then i think it's dot com and i think they were they're not based in america they're based in france i think and so that's where it shipped from but shipping really wasn't that bad it was either like five or ten dollars which really isn't that horrible but i had to get the bra and underwear and i know i'm gonna answer this question because this is a question i had for my for myself when I kind of ordered this I did not think that the underwear had stretched to them but they do so if you are looking into getting these uh the bra kind of st stretches like a normal bra would it's just like a basic bra but the underwear I didn't think that they stretched because it was furry but it does have a little bit of give to it not really on this part but it does have like an elastic waist and I think the legs are kind of a little bit stretchy. So just buy your normal size as you would. I got a medium. I should have gotten a small because these are kind of big on me. I'm hoping that I can possibly shrink them in the wash though without, you know, destroying the fur or anything like that. Um, I'm sure if I just wash them in a pillowcase, it'll be fine. But they are so cute and fuzzy and I am in love with it. I was just going to get the bra, but I was like you can't not get the set like come on it's so cute so i'm obsessed i think they're so adorable and let let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this is this like too extra or is this the most adorable thing ever okay then the last thing i have to share i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up kind of quick um i went to las vegas for my anniversary with my fiance this year we went and we stayed at the stratosphere hotel and we ate at the top the top of the world restaurant in the top of the stratosphere that was like the rotating restaurant we ate there for our anniversary night the night that we got there and we stayed for about four days and it was crazy we did so much walking if you guys have never been to vegas before it's a big place, but it's very spread out. Like I thought it was going to be more condensed and everything was kind of, kind of all be in one place, but it's very spread out. So expect to walk a lot. I guess the best advice I can probably give anyone who's never been before is go to Fremont Street. Uh, I found that Fremont Street was more exciting and there was more to do there than there was on just the strip itself. So check that out they have zip lining they have so many shops oh my gosh there are so many shops it is insane every hotel every casino has like 50 60 100 shops just in it in itself and it is so insane like just the first night that we got there we mainly just stayed in our hotel and there were shops and there was stuff to do and like from our hotel from the stratosphere like you can do sky jumping like you can jump off the top of the building with a harness on there's like a roller coaster on the top of the building there's 
thrill rides there's they have indoor skydiving on the strip like there's so much cool stuff to do in Las Vegas and I definitely definitely have to go back because I feel like four days was not enough so I just wanted to show you guys that I got this t-shirt <laughs> it's a little girl's extra large or something like that but I got it at one of the gift shops and I just I don't know if that's necessarily a favorite but oh and also I did see Chris Angel I saw Chris Angel, uh, his live show in Vegas when we went at the Luxor and I got fourth row seats and we were like dead center in the middle, perfect. I was like six feet away from him the whole time and it was amazing, such an, an amazing, amazing show. I'm not gonna give too much away. Uh, they didn't allow video or photos when you were watching the show or in the theater at all, so. I didn't try to sneak photos or anything like that because I didn't want to get kicked out considering how much I paid for my seats. <laughs> so unfortunately I can't really show you guys pictures or share videos or anything but I will go ahead and show you guys. We did get a photo taken by one of the photographers there and it was actually set up really cool because before you go into the theater they have all of Chris Angel's motorcycles and stuff like on display in these cases and you can just walk through and look at them all. So we got this little keepsake book right here. Oh I, we actually got two photos. I forgot. But uh a photographer took these photos of us so there's this black and white one right here and then there's this one right here in front of one of his bikes if my camera will want to focus on this here but there you can see it was such a good show um at the end of it I actually cried <laughs> because it was just so moving and like your brain is literally so tweak what is happening in front of my face right now and honestly half the reason I wanted to get like as close of seats as I could was because I love Chris Angel I've been watching his shows and everything for as long as he's been doing this stuff and I really wanted to see him so I decided to spend the extra money to go big or go home right and unfortunately I couldn't do a VIP meet and greet type thing because they didn't offer that otherwise I totally would have um, because he's one of my like bucket list people to meet in life and I probably will still go to another one of his shows but oh my gosh I cried and it was so good but another reason I wanted to see sit so close is because I wanted to see if there were like harnesses and like the 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 behind the scenes stuff to the tricks and it's it's hard to see anything like they do it so well and he's such a master at what he does it was an amazing show and I highly recommend anyone to see it because it will literally leave you speechless I it was such a beautiful like it's so weird to say like Chris Angel's show was beautiful but to me it was like it was so just like whoa like it was so magical and just so I don't know. I'm not going to talk anymore. But anyway, so I did see Chris Angel and I loved it so much. And I'm so sad I couldn't get, take any photos because I was right there. And I'm just like, I wanted to whip out my phone and just click, 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 click. But I couldn't because I didn't want to get kicked out. Hit, seeing him in Vegas was like the top of my bucket list to do while I was in Vegas. And I did that. So it was really fun. And I had an awesome time with my fiance and we'll probably go back. I don't know when. Who knows but it's really fun so that is gonna wrap it up for my March favorites I'm so sorry I talk so much but I haven't talked to you guys in a while so I'm sorry I was a little bit more vocal than I usually am I would say I usually am but I tend to over talk in a lot of my videos anyway I'm gonna go and I will talk to you all next time let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was that I showed in this video and if you are new to my channel and you are not already please subscribe if you like this content and my rambly talking stuff um <laughs> I don't know what else to say um yeah I guess I will talk to you all in my next video whenever that is so until then <laughs> so long stay strong stay true and be you all right bye